What's up everybody, peace good day you guys, welcome back to the Town Hall 13 where we have enough elixir to actually do another barracks. So as you guys may know, you normally do barracks one at a time, but I want to get them knocked out as fast as possible. Um, is this going to be a good idea? No. But are we gonna still going to do it? You will. So yes, this is we're doing this completely different than I normally would do. We want to get these out of the way. So should we do this? Should we change our complete plan? I think we should. I think we should change our plan to actually do a barracks. So what we're gonna do here right now, I think the best plan of action is to start these bigger elites upgrades. Yes, the barracks are a big upgrade, but I think we'd be leaving one build for the barracks and being able to actually do the one of the bigger upgrades, which would be the uh, army camp. So let's buy some elites with the raid medals. That's what the raid medals are there for. I need to buy a couple more, um, but the remotes are in clutch, coming in clutch for the for this upgrade. So we have one builder. What we're gonna do? We will do one wall here. Um, I think we have wall rings as well. If I'm hundred percent sure, we have wall rings. Yes, we do. So let's use some wall rings um, as well, because this is max walls and and wall rings are pretty pretty worth it. Well, we were off camera and stuff. We actually did some trap upgrades. Um, as well just to give you guys updated this like small traps so it doesn't really matter so we're still using the hybrid hybrid is actually very good it is giving us some practice as well for war farming anything we want to get done um, out of the way so that's the main stuff that we want to do which will be the um, army camps and the getting the barracks upgraded and I would suggest to actually do the barracks one at a time. Um, if you're pretty active, I would do the one at a time. But if you're not like really active, you get on like a couple of times and doing a couple of attacks. You can you can actually upgrade two or even three barracks at a time, depending on your play style. If you play every day or don't play every day, um, I just get on every day here and there. Um, well, I do get on every day, but when I do, and I want to get barracks out the way, I tend to try to get them out of the way and not to just having like all three three down at a time especially if i'm not worrying it's painful not gonna lie it's painful waiting for an archer for 30 minutes or 20 minutes but um uh, to get them out of the way when they're finished is going to be super super relieving um we will try to have the barracks and the arm camp going at the same time that's going to be pretty tough but if we get one barracks down army camp down at the same time is going to be very very good for us because we'll be able to unlock our full attacking potential with the brand new troop which would be the dragon raider and then having a max capacity as well for our town hall 13 base so it's, going to be, it's coming out pretty pretty good we don't have our uh, clan cast up as yet we haven't started the town hall upgrades yet either sadly but we will definitely get that um not as soon as possible um, with medals if you can do CWL when it comes around. CWL has been pretty rough. We haven't been able to participate in CWL at all for two months, I believe. I believe one month. I'm not 100% sure. But we definitely need to get that upgrade out of the way. So it can give us, um, I believe it gives us five more extra uh, troop space, which is basically extra balloon um, as well. So let's hopefully find a base here. Something simple, nothing too rough to actually get wrapped on. We won't be taking a top 14. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We, we we can get there, but we're not there yet. So let's find the base, and I'll be back for you guys in probably a couple minutes or so, depending on how long it needs to take for us to find one, so that we can get a bit. Oh, we I, I won't I won't cut that out. You keep that. I won't cut it out at all. This is an okay base, town 13. Um, as I see this base a lot, so the Tesla's are in that area. Um, so let's take this one. Let's take this one. So we're gonna drop down the queen down the bottom. We have archer, one archer as well. This this is pretty boosted, but majority all of the loot I should say are actually in the storages. Uh, so we're gonna let the queen where she pits her side. There you go. And then I'm actually using uh, the wall racker. A missile wall racker. Uh, ooh, whoa, whoa, ton of traps, ton of traps, which I love, love to see. So I'm actually using the wall racker because I'm not bringing wall breakers in the tr in this um, army this army comp um the, it was a mistake in a way but i wanted to try using my sieges um 
so he ended up doing that as well. Um, but it was a mistake by not having wall breakers, wall breakers in it. But it seems that it's been working pretty okay because it's been directing the queen pretty well with the um, wrecker. So we'll work with that. So if you poison on the enemy troops, which are balloons, they can get taken out pretty, pretty quickly with uh, a poison spell, especially on balloons. So we'll work on that. Um, I'll drop the king here down in a second. I just want the queen to take the town hall. She will be arguing this enemy king here in a set. So I'll drop, drop this headhunter. And I'm using the headhunter as well. It's been working pretty, pretty fine for me. Now let's drop in the hybrid. Hybrid is in. And the, we need that um, scatter to actually keep tanking for me. I mean, keep kings tanking the scatter. I will freeze up the single just in case. Uh, scatter is down from the enemy RC. I'll drop in the next headhunter as well to go for the enemy queen um, as well. And we're working pretty. We're working pretty well. The hybrid is going very, very smoothly. I need the warden to step up. We probably popped his ability way later than we normally wanted to, but it's still a good warden's ability nonetheless. The king is on the outside, working his sweet time around. I will freeze up that single. I definitely should have had missed that air defense but it's totally fine i try to get full potential to heal even though the freeze sorry even though it's not a defense that i need to freeze uh, but nonetheless we still get through this base step the single side the queen's ability part the queen's ability on the single and this base is crushed so you can see how the hybrid can work different ways um be able to get directly into the sandy base if you had normal war breakers we still be able to break all the way through you would use two at a time on a race spell two here and they'll be able to reach the town hall um, as well. So you can see how pretty well the hybrid works with a triple GG. I'll take that to the bank. Uh, let me remove that right now because I don't want that to actually be impeding our build. But oh wow, we actually reached Legends League. <laughs> I didn't spend us to read Legends League. Uh, okay, so we reached Legends League. That's the thing. Um, I will, I'm actually going to sign up to it. I'll sign up to it. Um, we probably won't get an attack yet or anytime soon. But I'll sign up to Lens League. Why not? We'll be able to stay in there for probably a day or less than a day. Uh, we'll be able to get some free loot. So why like, not? It, it doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt. So we have options. Like I said, the option will be this as well. But we have another option as well with the Siege Machine to unlock the Siege Barracks. That's something we will wait on because we'll be able to unlock Max Siege Barracks. I want to get to a point where I can donate them. But I think the armor camps are better our best bet it, it, more worth it for us so 60 minutes and 16 day upgrade in 3 to 1 bam and that is our first army camp down three more to go but that is it for me hope you guys did enjoy it was a short video yes we have three days for our next builder and this builder that is on the giant bomb will probably keep going to like these uh these traps and uh, traps are not the, like, the best thing i would say to be on recording but like i said those are gonna be the small things that we'll be knocking out um here and there but that's for me hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys next time